Hey, hi there, you guys. Sagittarius. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. I really want to thank you guys, Sagittarius, for supporting my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one Lover's Oracle card, and a Teabag Fortune message. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Well, here you are, Sagittarius, the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is an influencer. They have honor and vision. They've mastered the use of the fiery element. They're the king of passion and temper. They're in command and in control. They're an influential and independent person and they help those that they care about. This can also mean good fortune coming your way. It could be in the form of unexpected help or advice, good news or promotion. It's passion for a project. This is a person who is warm and generous. They might be taking a chance and going for it. This is someone that's very attractive and handsome, passionate. They're agile in mind and body. Yet they can be impatient and they dislike details. They're impatient with responsibility and they may long for the day they rode free as a knight. They would rather lead than follow, and they are charming and inspiring. They know when to take action and how to create harmonious human relationships in the process. This is someone you can rely on their honesty, intelligence, they're loyal and fair-minded, and they give you good advice. They're good with technology and new exciting projects, and they get bored by the predictable. They're going to be a strong and powerful, positive influence. They could be in your life now or they will soon be. And you can trust their advice. They're a valuable ally and a wise teacher. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Saturn in Taurus. It's a card of waiting and looking and wondering, pondering, wondering if your investments are going to pay off in the future because you've only collected a little. Saturn in Taurus represents time. It's taking time to consider options. This is a pause during the development. A break. It's a reevaluation. It's stepping back and looking at what you've already accomplished. And you're aiming for long term growth and not those instant rewards. It's using patience and feeling uncertain. It could be some anxiety regarding money. It's second guessing your efforts, even feeling not good enough. It's reaching a milestone taking stock and taking care of your possessions, your investments. It's valuing your investments. Waiting and thinking. It is a timeout card. In this position, these energies are restricted. They're challenged. This is abandoning what failed to produce results changing plans or priorities. There might be a lack of assessment or someone may be unemployed. It's a lack of rewards, impatience, apprehension. Someone might be suspicious. They could even be jealous. This can represent scattered efforts or spending your time and money on what will not work or pay off. It's not admitting defeat. And this is not admitting that your time or effort, no matter how much you try, 
is not worth it. It could be a relationship that's not worth it. There's been enough evaluating. You'll need to act. It's time to plant seeds in more fertile fields. You'll need to prioritize your activities carefully. This could even be self-sabotage due to ego. The King of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles, this can be a demanding person. They're frustrated with details. They're a perfectionist. They're tired of waiting. It's accessing frustrating details and striving to be the best and wondering if you'll get what you want or what you desire. Here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of, Sagittarius. The Two of Swords, Air Energy. This is Moon in Libra. A card of Stalemate. Stasis. Could be working at cross purposes with another person. So there's a standstill. Postpone decisions. This can be a tree truce. Peace is restored. This can be a stressful decision and you'll need to seek more information and look honestly at a change that needs to be made. Ask questions. You need more facts and information and you can contemplate your options. It's putting off making a decision for now and feeling uncertain. You may not wish to offend or hurt someone involved. This is a self-defensive gesture. You may need to withdraw so you can think and contemplate your options and collect those facts needed. Or maybe you're ignoring your emotions and using logic to deny how you're feeling. Or you could be denying the truth of something so you don't have to deal with it being at a crossroads, maybe even choosing between two bad outcomes. The King of Wands with the Two of Swords is head over heart. It's a scientific approach to making a decision. It's having indecision over career or finances. Here's your fourth card, the card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Sagittarius, you've got the Four of Swords, Air Energy. This is Jupiter in Libra. A card of having to think and rest. It's healing, reflection, mental expansion through rest. It's thinking over a problem so you can make the right decision. It's contemplating your next move. And it is a needed relief from mental stress. And you're recovering your strength and stabilizing the wounds that were received with the Three of Swords. It's a healing sleep and dreams. It's tying up loose ends and stabilizing. You could be in a separation or a break. There's regrets hanging over you. You may be canceling your appointments, resting, laying low, de-stressing, sheltering yourself. The King of Wands with the Four Swords is knowing you need a break, but wanting to finish what you start. It's withholding impulses or temper. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Sagittarius. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider White deck, the Tower. This can be an Aries or a Scorpio. This is ruled by Mars and Pluto. You can have Aries or Scorpio in your chart. This is a surprise, a sudden shock, a dramatic change. It can be sudden and painful like the sting of a scorpion. It's lightning quick. There's unseen forces at work here. So you'll need to look for weaknesses in your foundation. These are big changes that you have to deal with. And you can be questioning your beliefs. 
a shocking revelation, action and release, shaking things up. These are yods hanging around. There's 15 of them. It represents something out of your control, and you may not believe what is happening is for the best. It's a wake-up call to be cautious. It's a massive change due to a false understanding. You'll need to shake things up and let it crumble and let the light in, and build a foundation that is strong, and you can find a spiritual opportunity within this drama. King of Wands with a Tower card is a shock, a sudden unexpected change, a surprise, surprise shift. This can also represent someone that has an impulsive personality, or it could be an explosive personality. Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Swords, this represents unsatisfying compromises and a deadlock. The Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Swords is resting and reconsidering, feeling something is brewing under the surface. You'll need to be patient because if you rush it, there will be an annoying delay, and it's resting from hard work. Seven of Pentacles with the Tower card is a, a reset, a test, could be waiting for the ball to drop. It's a stagnation and then a major shakeup or a life change with what you've been waiting for. Two of Swords with the Four of Swords is recovery and keeping the peace. It's decisions you have to meditate over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two of Swords with the Tower card is the real truth. It's an explosive revelation and it's not wanting to see those lies. It's continuing on because it has not backfired, backfired yet. It's a wake-up call, and it's a surprise that stops you in your tracks. Four of Swords with the Tower card is a disruption that can be a misfortune for a group of people. It's something unexpected that happened that caused a breakup, but it's a relief. It's a reevaluate time. Here's your Lover's Oracle card by... Tony Carmine Slorino. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Here's your tea bag fortune message. Be kind to others, but always be compassionate to yourself. Be kind to others, but always be compassionate to yourself. Thanks, you guys, Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.